Welcome back and welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. What is that all about? We are already a week into Vlogmas. How crazy. Um, if you watch my Day 6 vlog that I did, you'll have seen that I went to the library. So I thought I would do a very quick library haul of the things that I have got from the library since being back in Denver. Because you know that one of the first places I went when I got back here was to the library. I believe actually I put a couple of things on hold and got Ollie to go and pick them up for me before I even uh, got into the library myself. So uh, here I have a quick library book haul. You will also get a little insight into my next UK versus US book cover video. Um, so yeah, spoiler alert for that one. Um, and I thought I would show you a couple of the DVDs that I got as well um, because I get DVDs out the library too to catch up on some of the films I may have missed recently at the cinema or some of the classic films that I need to watch. So let's start with the books. First one I got was Uncommon Type by Tom Hanks. Uh, I'd been on the waiting list for this one for a while. I considered buying myself a copy but I thought well I want to read the book a little bit first to see if I want it. You know that whole try before you buy thing and library books are free. Remember, support your local library. Um, so yeah, so I'm looking forward to reading this. This has got these like deckled edges, you know, when they're a little bit uneven. I'm not sure about that. Never, never sure about this, but I'm looking forward to reading this. I've been looking forward to it since I found out it was coming out. Uh, and then something I've heard a lot of good things about, um, and I almost got it in my library in the UK, but then I decided to wait and see if they had it in my library here, and they did, and that is Everything Beautiful Is Not Ruined. I thought it was called Everything Beautiful Is Not Broken, so I was searching wrongly for it for a little while, um, and this is by Danielle young Ullman. Couldn't see on the spine because of the sticker. Um, yep, yeah, so I've heard really good things about this. It's a YA novel, so we'll see. Then, been looking forward to reading this one. I considered getting the ebook of this one and reading it whilst I was still in the UK. But I decided to hold out and get the physical copy of it. This one is actually a middle grade novel and it is called Clicked and it is by one of my favourite authors, Tamara Island Stone. Um, and this one <coughs> is um, about a girl who is into um, apps and coding. Um, and are you ready for these end papers? So nice. Again, this is one of these kind of try before you buy books as well because I did consider um, Tata Cover Bookstore had her as a guest at their bookshop and I considered phoning up and getting a copy signed for me. But then I thought, well, I don't know if I'm going to 100% like it. So I decided to get it from the library. And then we have another middle grade book. Um, if you have been on my Instagram recently, you'll have seen I posted a picture of the second book in this series. So I knew I wanted to get the first book from the library so I could read that first before reading my signed copy and that is The Littlest Bigfoot by Jennifer Weiner. You know I am a massive Jennifer Weiner fan um, so you knew I was getting this one and as I say this one is a middle grade read as well. Um, I will read <sighs> it's got a map end paper so so cute let me see if I can get I can't get all of it because they stick the covers down to put security devices in. But yeah. How would you feel how would it feel to find out there was another world out there? A world beneath the world, hidden away like the secret caramel centre of a chocolate or a pearl tucked in an oyster shell. <coughs> <clears throat> a world where Alice could be accepted, even loved, to know that the world existed, but that she could never go there, and that the doors would always be locked against her. Millie didn't want to think about it. Oh, so exciting. As I say, I saw this series, I got a signed copy from Barnes & Noble on Black Friday, and so I really wanted to read the first book in the series as well. I don't think the cover of the first book is as gorgeous as the cover of the second book. As I say, head over to my Instagram, I posted a picture of the second book on there. But this one's quite nice too. Um, then, again, if you saw my Vlogmas Day 6 video, you'll have seen me finish this one. 
um, and that is All About Mia by Lisa Williamson. Um, I wanted to pick up the hard copy of this one so I could do for my UK versus US book covers um, and I was listening to the audiobook of it and it's very very different to the UK cover so make sure you are subscribed so you'll see that video pop into your inbox into your subscription feed um, because yeah very very different so watch out for that one. And then also by Lisa Williamson, I got The Art of Being Normal, which I have a video about. Um, so I will link that below so you can watch my video review of this one because this was one of my um, top reads from the beginning of the year. Um, and it's, oh yeah, definitely one of my top YA reads of the year altogether. And then another one for that video I got was Another Day, which I thought I had at home, but then I didn't have. I have every day, but I didn't have the follow-up Another Day. So I picked this one up. This was um, one I read in November. I listened to the audiobook of this one. And then um, one that featured in my December TBR that I mentioned I would be filming my UK versus US book cover video about this one is uh, They Both Die at the End by Adam Sulfera um, because this book is so, this cover is so very, very different to the UK cover. So I wanted to pick that up for that. I haven't started reading this yet. So I may read my, um, my UK edition, which is up here, or I may read the library book edition. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. I, uh, I'll be able to do a bit of a comparison and see if any of the words or spellings are different in this one as well. And then, yeah, for a change, I thought I would tell you about the DVDs I got. Oh, let me reach around here. Um, I mentioned in my November wrap-up that I read Nevertheless by Alec Baldwin. And so I got a couple of the films that he mentioned in his book because I was like oh that sounds interesting maybe I'll watch this after having read the book so I got Brady to a Kiss which is him and Meg Ryan and then I got Glenn Gary and Glenn Ross which he mentions as well and he did um an SNL sketch with some elves where he um sort of does a bit of a speech from the film but related to Christmas and elves so I picked up that um and then as I mentioned in my previous video i am also watching big little lies that's in the dvd player so i haven't got that right now to hold up um but yeah i got the dvd of the hbo series of big little lies to watch uh so i can do a book versus film video on that one which will probably be coming up in the next couple of weeks because it's due back at the library in a week anyway and there's a massive waiting list on it i've been on the waiting list for this one since i think before i left denver and then finally um, Julie Cohen did a writing workshop at a writing retreat that I went to back in the UK the weekend before I left and she showed us some clips of this film and I was like uh, I've seen so many clips of this film and I still haven't seen the film I will see if the library has it and they did and that is The Princess Bride um, so yeah don't judge me for not having seen it it's just not one that's ever made it onto my watch list so yeah my recent library book call I hope you enjoyed this I will be back with another vlogmas video for you tomorrow um, and yeah make sure you are subscribed so that that hits your subscription box um, and if you enjoyed this give it a thumbs up if you've read any of these books and think that there's one in particular I should definitely be starting with leave me a comment below and I will see you tomorrow with that video bye